Fair Share is a charity which rescues surplus food from the food industry and redistributes it to charities who feed homeless and vulnerable people. We, we redistributed just over 9,000 tonnes of food in the last financial year and we did that through 20 regional centres across the whole of uh, the United Kingdom. We get food uh, donated to us from across the food industry, whether it's from farmers' fields, manufacturers, retailers, and then we uh, redistribute that out to other charities and community groups who are working with uh, people in need. We're helping to um, produce meals for about 211,000 people a week. Uh, we're working with uh, around 2,500 charities, so we're doing a great job, but there's lots more we can do. We had a, a, a legacy system which had been in place for a number of years. Um, it, was, uh, it was cumbersome to use, slow to use. Um, the, the databases for our 20 regional centres were all separate, so there was an awful lot of um, aggregation of reports to get anything meaningful out of it in total. Uh, working at Fair Share is a bit like having Christmas every day, because um, you never know quite what you're going to get until you open the box and see what's inside. Um, and whilst that's all very exciting, it can be quite challenging. Um, I don't know whether you can see behind me, but the warehouse is stacked to the brim of pallets of food. Um, and so because we're a, a food regulated um, uh, operation we need to make sure that we know uh, what's in what date it is where it needs to go etc so one of the biggest challenges we had was about processing all of those uh, different deliveries that had so goods in can sometimes take a while same as goods out actually getting the food out to those charities so really for us uh, we don't fit the mold of a standard warehousing solution um, we need lots of bells and whistles and tweaks to make it work for us because we're we're surplus we did go out to the marketplace and say, can uh, someone that's got an off-the-shelf solution provide us with what we need? But because of the nature of what we do, surplus food, we never know what we're going to get, it just didn't make sense to take an off-the-shelf solution and, and, and tweak it to the point that it didn't look like its former self. What we wanted to achieve was a new system that was um, more efficient to use, user-friendly, uh, that we could integrate with our other systems. Um, we wanted one database behind it so we could report on the whole company, um, the whole operation as one. One of the things that we've tried to do with the design of the software, it, it almost almost verges as to being a, like a business to consumer application because you're dealing with volunteers and part-time uh, users as well as the professional staff. One of the big things that um, Fairshare add value to the food supply chain. They want to distribute surplus food, but they have to know that that surplus food is in control and it's not leaking out onto the grey market, it's not being abused and it's being stored and handled properly and it's in date and all that kind of stuff. system. It's got um, an amazing user interface that's so intuitive um, for particularly because we're volunteer, uh, um, the majority of our people are volunteers. So we have a, a high churn of people coming and helping us. You need something that's easy to use. So usability, user friendliness is great. Um, some of the processing that's been put into it is, is much, much better than the way we have and it currently reflects the way we want to work while, rather than us working around the system. The system works for us. Um, and there's lots of bells and whistles um, in terms of what I've seen and what it's going to do for us. So we're, we're really excited to have it. Speed of data entry is, is quite important here. So although we're actually collecting more information at the point of goods in, um, initial breath benchmarking suggests something like it's, it's a third quicker uh, to use the, the new system. And uh, that's something that we will continue to work on because Fesha is going to increase the volume of the food that, that can come in. We need to increase the speed that they can get it onto the system and they can get it out of the system because otherwise we're going to have to get um, more and more and more volunteers just to cope with the, the, you know, the additional food that we're processing through. The collaboration between us, uh, Fair Share and Future Processing will really, really help us get more of the surplus food that's available in the UK out to more people who uh, need it on a daily basis. So we couldn't be more delighted to, to have the solution uh, coming to us very soon.